Peggy, what on earth do we make of this? Biden's got a note card at a press conference entitled Reporter Q&A with a sub-headline, question one, followed by a reporter's name, her picture, and where she works, the LA Times. The card details the exact question she wanted to ask about semiconductor manufacturing. And right on cue, Biden calls on the LA Times reporter for the first question, and she asks about semiconductor manufacturing. What do we make of this, Peggy? Well, thank you, Alan, as always, for having me on. And what a week is right. And, you know, Joe Biden comes out with this re-election announcement to finish the job. I'm wondering what job he's wanting to finish. Is it ruining America? Is it endangering the world? He's doing a great job at that. And then Kamala Harris is not like fine wine and won't age well over time. Her poll numbers are lower and worse than his, which is hard to believe. But to your point about the the White House and the media, the mainstream media being in collusion. Can you imagine if it was the other way around and Donald Trump was caught with a note card detailing a question he was going to take from Fox News? I mean, there would be outrage. A good press secretary prepares the president of the United States for the questions that they will be receiving, not the exact questions, but the type of questions. They know what the press corps is writing about, tweeting about, and asking about. And a good press corps would not insult and belittle themselves in this way to be cooperative with such collusion. It's obvious everybody knows it and they have the audacity to tell us that we don't see what we see with our own eyes. Yeah. Just like they're saying the border Absolutely. is not open, crime is not uh, on the rise and you know inflation is not uh, harming the American people. It's just, we know it, what we see and feel and it's not what they're saying to no, us. No, I mean look, so look let's, let's just look at this Sean Hannity thing again because uh, this defied, Peggy and I have been in these games with politicians for a long, long time. I've never, ever known anything like this. Let's just have a look at that Sean Hannity clip again. Now, of course, Joe also loves a good cheat sheet and a compliant media mob. Take a look at your screen. Now, this is a picture of a note card that Biden was holding yesterday at a press conference entitled Reporter Q&A with the subheadline question number one followed by a reporter's name, her picture, and where she works, the LA Times, and the card also detailed the exact question she wanted to ask. It was about semiconductor manufacturing, and right on cue, Biden called on the LA Times reporter for the first question, and guess what she asked about? Semiconductor manufacturing. But now the LA Times and the Biden White House, they're denying that there was any collusion at all whatsoever. Peggy, that denial, I mean, how the hell can you get away with a denial when there is photographic evidence? It's insane. And again, they think we will just believe what they say, not what we see. Unfortunately, I think this is probably not the first time this has been done. It's probably been done a lot. And there were probably more than question one listed on his cheat sheet. We know that the two are in bed. We saw at the last um, White House Correspondents' Dinner over the weekend when Biden referenced his reelection, the entire media mob reacted with a, a standing ovation practically of applause. So we know that they're rooting for him, they're pulling for him, and they're gonna do everything they can to keep him back in the White Absolutely. House. They should be ashamed of themselves for not calling this for what it is. This is lying from the White House podium and we've seen it time and time Absolutely. again.